welcome to part five of Super Mario Brothers 3. And what if I beat this number one step? If you beat that, we just move on. I think we're at the point now we can stop going after every level. Let's. I, I'm, I'm willing to break that rule. How about you guys? Okay. Let's, Otherwise, we're, we're going to be here all night. Forget about that crappy castle. That's right. And let's focus on the pretty graphics. Yes. Like in this level, where we actually have a background that's not just plain black. And we're down to six lives. It's, it's black and gray instead of uh, instead of black. How impressive. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's just like what I did in that last level. It sure is. Oh! oh so was that? that? <laughs> you died on the Link Castle. Oh. On the Link. Go for a star. Right. I'm gonna go do, do this. I love the pictures that yeah, 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 Toad is drunk, folks. He's not a little kid. He can't get drunk. That's okay. I think you might have it. Nope, nope, almost. Oh, uh, what? Whatever. Honestly, for some reason, on my brain is Pitfall 2 right now, even though we're playing this. I don't know why. I mean, why does that come to mind? I don't even know. If we were playing Uncharted 2, I could I could see that. At least you, you have another, like, kind of neat adventure type game, whereas this is not. But, yeah, I don't know why Pitfall 2 comes to mind. I mean, it has a nice sound chip that allows the music to play music, but besides that... Oh, hey, oh, yes, and Pitfall here, he can actually swim in it. There ah, is. yes. He doesn't just drown when he touches water. I mean, what kind of late Ouch. adventurer actually drowns just by touching water? Trevor Belmont. Simon Belmont. Um, uh, they're not very much for real adventurers, if you ask me. They're, but they're, they, can, they can kill Dracula. They can kill Dracula? But, I mean, their basic adventure skill set is kind of limited if they can't swim. Admittedly, I can't swim, but I'm not an adventurer. I'm just a regular guy. Um, Blake. Blake can't swim. No, no, he can't. Actually, that he is. He just goes. Ah! Actually, that is pretty sad. Let's see how you split it. And that's one of those things where they do it in a video game for one reason and one reason only, folks. You know why they do it? Just to make the game have an extra level of difficulty by not being able to swim. And now we have moved on to the second part of World 5. Uh-oh, what's he doing here? The sky. I'm almost afraid to... Okay, he's doing something valid. I thought he was going to get out a music box again. I was, gonna, I was contemplating a there frog. Is only yeah. one, there, is only, frog there is only one level in this world that I would even allow someone to use a P-Wing, and it's the last one before the castle. You know what I'm talking about, that auto-scrolling bitch? I don't like auto-scroll. Neither do I. But you know what? I will take an auto-scroll level any day over the water levels in the Sonic games. I love the Sonic games, but... I will play. Even today, more support is good, but even so today, I get nervous as hell when the music speeds up and I'm about to try. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just feel the pressure. It's like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Hey, you can wait for that We filmed it. Damn, that. Folks, I'm getting worse and worse and worse at this. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I should be Dick Van Dyke tripping over the ottoman. Man, you know, it's funny, a lot of the stuff that I like from pop culture is a lot older than I am. Yeah, I think we're all in that same boat. Yeah, but I'm the, I'm the one who's now busy restoring audio from records that weren't even made using electricity. Mm. I'm the one restoring records from pre-1925 just because I like the yeah, stuff. Yeah, there we go. How are we down to three lives? We suck. You guys suck. You've died as much as we have. No, I have. No? No, he usually gets past it and tosses the controller to us and then one of us dies. I think I've died a total of twice in this adventure. And we just keep on dying. We keep on dying. It's kind of funny. I will admit, I am amused by that. It is very funny, actually. I don't mind dying for the I sake of, of comedy. Hey, this is... This is it, it makes the, uh... It makes the, uh, the Let's Play that much more interesting. Yeah. Death yeah. is always funny. Death Becomes Her. Funny movie. Haven't seen it in years, and you know what? I actually really do want to see that movie. Oh, I seem to recall quite liking that movie. Not that it's like any kind of great film, but it's a good film. Oh, where did that come from? <laughs> hey, I think he's going to die this time. Yes, he will. Nope. Nope, bitches. Nah, you say that now. 
special to try to Atari games and release the arcade version. There we go, and we got an extra life out of that one. What deal quality wanted a Nintendo version? I got us two lives on that level, folks. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Oh, and we got a mushroom house. Get it, bitch. And I I do like the Nintendo version of Tetris, don't get me wrong, but I put more tension. Oh, let's not forget, too, like... You had a lot of, like, licensed games that just weren't any good. I mean, you had the JBC Star Wars, which was actually a pretty decent game. But then you had Empire Strikes Back, which was just... The level design was terrible. But... Licensed games? Sunsoft Batman. Yes. Which I do have and I will play. That is actually a very good game. Challenging as fuck, but so fun. Actually very fun. It's unlike a lot of licensed games, it, it's, it actually is very It's basically well Batman played. meets Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Except not as frustrating. It's, it's, it's one of these games where you look at so many licensed games at the time and since then, they're so horrible. And you might be ready to say, well, it's a licensed game, I'm not gonna try it. Well, for the most part, I'd agree with you. But that game, no. That game, play it. Yes. Please do play it. If you I've, played it for I've, her, you can play it for me. I've always wanted... <laughs> play it, Sam. Nintendo decided to do that Mario... Mario! Was going to have some kind of animal suit that allowed him to fly. But... You know, the game developers are thinking, hmm, what kind of animal could that be? Would it be a bat? Would it be a bird? Would it be an insect? No. Nope. It's what a new fly? A raccoon. Of course. That makes the most sense. And and not just any raccoon, a tanuki. A rare Japanese raccoon. That and the regular raccoon both. And they're both basically you deal with creatures that can't fly. That's right. Why can they fly in these games? Nintendo, can you answer us on that? Have you ever given anyone a real answer on that? Because it makes better gameplay. Can we also be answered in reality? Uh, I'm completely honest answer. Why the mushrooms? Why the mushrooms? I, I think Shigeru Miyamoto himself was a, was a user. <laughs> you know, I kind of think there's a chance of that. I mean, let's face it, he came up with the idea for this game, he came up with the idea for the Zelda game. Oh, the buck tooth mushroom. Yes. <laughs> That's my, my name's Cletus. That's actually been one of my favorite things to happen in this game. I didn't want to freeze. Oh, yes. Now, I'm not going to start chugging Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a problem. Oh, I'm so lame right now. What kind of loot do these guys have? I'm not sure. Nothing good. They have a loot of fist. I just like attacking them because they're funny. So I'll skip them. Yeah, I would skip them. I just like attacking them. I've got one fucking life left. This is one. Pitiful. <laughs> yeah. Pitiful. This is the best. This is the most kind word. Wait, you see the clouds God, in the blue yeah, sky. I'm thinking of blue sky pilots. Weren't they the team behind a lot of the television games? Uh, is that is that who it was? I think it was Blue Sky. And the entire game was actually. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, it's Jesus. Game Jesus. Over. Not quite. No. no reserve. Oh. oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, there's a fire. Ain't nobody trying for that. Oh Lord Jesus, there's a fire. Oh Lord Jesus, there's a fire. Well let's face it though, sweet brown. Major props for actually being someone who, like myself, appreciates the goodness that is RC Cola. The real cola. Not that Coca-Cola stuff. Not that Pepsi Cola stuff. RC. Royal Crown. Yes. The real cola. It's the real, real It's the thing. real thing. It's the, the real, real thing. thing. Not to be confused with Coca-Cola that calls itself the real Coca cola Now I permit you to use the P-Wing. Not only that. You don't need to... No, you don't need to... No, you could have just nope. used the P-Wing. You don't want the mushroom going into... When you're going into that... You could have just used the P-Wing. And then you're right in the next level. And that... You just wasted a mushroom. Actually, uh, with a mushroom, is it really that huge of a deal, though? It's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. Yeah. It's the difference between being able to get a fire flower or, or a leaf out of a question mark box. Uh, do, 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 do. 
This, of course, right here reminds me of a code that my brother's friend had discovered for the game G. Yes. I forget the I think it was T-E-L-L... Was it either T-E-L-L-Y or T-A-L-L-E-Y? I forget the number of letters involved in it. But if you use it on the original Super Mario Brothers in the uh, Mario Duck Hunt cartridge combo, the first time you jump, you fly off the screen. Okay. And the level endlessly scrolls. There's no end to the first level. You just keep going endlessly. It just <laughs> scrolls forever. You just leave the Nintendo on. The background keeps scrolling. Once you get past the end of the level, it's just the same background over and over again. No obstacles. It just keeps scrolling. You leave it on for hours. It'll just keep scrolling. Of course. Yes, and it's pointless. And how is Mario times zero? Yep. Their ship in Mario was zero. And guess what? You're stuck with. Yet again. The leak, the castle. <laughs> oh, I'm forgetting what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> you know, I don't know how this happened. It's the fifth time in a row. Oh. I'm not sure how this happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, this is terrible. The king has been your tool. Please, please, please. Nope. He's trying to magic wand so we can beat your back. You He's going to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> How much of that have you had to drink? Not much. I am just actually insane. Yes, folks, it's true. I am insane. Now, so, if you use warp whistles, do you still allow the Koopa kids to... to... to you in a reign of terror in all of these other kingdoms? I think you do. I think Mario's just proving how lazy he is. He's like, yeah. I only want princess toadstool fishies. I just want some some pussy. He's but lazy. Yeah. He's so lazy and greedy. I just want the pussy. Let's face it, Mario. Uh, uh, that was pretty stupid for me. Again, I'm doing these stupid things. But Mario is at times just a bit of an ass. I just want the pussy. He's a good day. We we love you sometimes. Oh, other times we. This just is not a good day. Other times we completely hate you, Mario. I am getting shot at by a million. Bullets and all I want is this princess pool thing. <laughs> it's not a good day. You know, I think there's a uh, question block after this one. A hidden one. Where? Um, maybe it's I think he's one. telling you to jump off the edge and find it. <laughs> now, close to the edge, down by the river. Oh, well, jump, jump. Oh! <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> yes! Oh. yes! Game over. I think not. Now we gotta go airship chasing. I... Oh, no! We gotta go through the levels again. I oh. is embarrassed. Oh my god. I, I, well, I'm only somewhat embarrassed. I actually find it funny. <laughs> this is terrible. We gotta go through the levels again. You know what's gonna happen if we get there again? Is that once again, I'm gonna be the one who ends up on the airship. You know what? I'm permitting us the use of a warp whistle. Uh oh. So that way we can at least just get to the next area. Get this game over with. It's torture, folks. It's torture. It's torture enough that he decided that a warp whistle was permissible. I forgot how tough these sky yeah. ones were. I'm just surprised. I actually really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, screwed, I screwed up my jump in the same way that I screwed up and actually took out another one of the Koopa kids. Oh, but you know what? If we use a warp whistle here, I think it brings us all the way to eight. Oh. Let's play eight. You want to just skip to eight? Skip to eight. Sure. Doesn't matter to me much. All right. Here we go. It's Legend of Zelda. Oh, good. We can just oh, we go. Can just... Just... All, right. all right, good. Let's do six. There we go. So we were going to... Ice. Basically, we're skipping five because we're not going to replay five. We're going to just do six. I think we're looking for the Ice King. He wasn't around yet, though. I love the there was no Adventure Time. No Adventure Time in the 80s. Nope. No amazing works of Pendleton Ward. Nope. That's, it's a terrible thing. It's a terrible situation. How did we make it out alive? Uh, Ronald Reagan. He, uh, couldn't make it without biting. <laughs> have you asked Mr. Owl? <laughs> Ronald Reagan has to ask Mr. Owl. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Oh, who is just too playing? It was me. <laughs> Ronald Reagan likes the Tootsie Pops, apparently. 
Oh, I never made it without fighting. Ask Mr. Owl. Ronald Reagan? The actor? Who's vice president? Jerry Lewis? Dr. References. Dr. Emmett Brown. He's in um, A Million Ways to Die in the West. Oh, God. That's me. Yes, as Doc Brown, apparently. What? Spoiler alert! For those what? of you who haven't seen it. Yeah, I, my roommate spoiled it for me. Doc Brown, though. I'm okay with him being in anything. That character is awesome. Oh, I screwed up my timing. Horribly. Ow. It's almost game over. Oh my god. I haven't played enough Nintendo in a long time. We are... What's through here? A locked pipe. Oh, that's too bad. It's a chastity belt. It's a chastity belt. Chastity belt. Chastity. Chastity is dead. There's no such thing anymore. Oh! <laughs> yes! We're gonna we're gonna game over and we're gonna stuck over again from the beginning of World Six and it's not gonna matter because we didn't even get it anywhere into World Six. <laughs> what happens if we don't die? Then we're gonna probably die later on in World Six and, and go back to the beginning. Yeah, but we have oh, more whistles if we need them. Perfect. Oh, Jimmy I hate Christmas. these things. I really do. Jump on Jehovah. Might as well cut the chain and use the whistle now. <laughs> no, we, 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 we don't want to use it yet. We want to try and show as much as six as possible before that, we give up and jump to seven. That is just one loud background. I love that background. Oh, oh, high. oh and you're high. right at the end, too. Hey, oh. um, Mario just went interpolated on there. Yeah, he went interpolated. Interpolation. Interpolation. <laughs> Interpolation. Tanuki suit. Athletic theme. Funny thing about the music, it doesn't seem very athletic. No, it just seems annoying. Okay, slow down, Mark. Slow down. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. God, I hate this guy. It doesn't even look like Sky. It looks like, like, it, it looks like a blue shirt. If, like, is this supposed to represent <laughs> snow falling or something? I have a shirt that looks just like that. I have one that looks a lot like that, too. <laughs> I find that kind of amusing. There are shirts and ties that look like yes, this. There is yeah, no there sky, are. There's no sky in the water, however, that looks like that. I, and I have never seen a wintertime sky that looked remotely like that before. Like, uh, uh, kind of a scary thought. Yeah. If this guy looked like that, I would think that maybe someone would like slip something into my drink. Are you sure somebody didn't? As, uh, as, it, man. as it scrolls, I see interlacing artifacts. Uh, actually, those are less interlacing artifacts and more dot crawl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dot crawl. It, it is. Dot crawl uh, is one of the problems ooh. you deal with when you're dealing with composite video because it's putting your Luma and Chroma on one channel. It's not very nice, but that's what they had to do. <laughs> DC's a tech guru, in case you couldn't tell. Yeah, I, I haven't modded my NES, but my SNES now outputs component video. Thank you very much. That's way too easy, by the way. And if you're interested in doing it, just look step up online. The early Super Nintendos actually have component video coming right off one of the chips inside, even though it wasn't standard yet. Not good. Which I find no. very handy. Game over. Uh, boom. Game over again. Oh, so what do we do? We listen to the music. Go through these levels again? We didn't get that far. Hey. All right. Then I know I'm gonna lose again. Yeah. 
We're at the point now where we may, we may as well have to throw in the towel and doing the entire game. We pretty much already have. Yeah, we do. That's what happens when some people haven't played the game in a long time. Yeah. Good thing we didn't do Castlevania. Yars Revenge. If you have Atari, it is. Have you played Atari today? No, I haven't. Neither have I. I haven't played Atari in a while. My Atari needs love. Atari needs love. All Ataris need love. And attention. That's me, right? It, it doesn't matter if it's a VCS, a 5200, a 7800, a Jaguar, the portable Lynx, an Atari 800 computer, even an Atari 400, lowly 400. It needs love. You know what? I traded my Jaguar in for a blender. That's painful. Oh. I traded a Sega Genesis for my first Jaguar. And you know what? I have another Genesis now, but I also have a second Jaguar. Why would I subject myself to having two Jaguars, you ask? Well, you know, it was the system that was capable of hooking multiple consoles together. And I liked to play Deathmatch Doom. And you traded an SNES for an Atari 7800. I am proud of that trade. The 7800, to me, is a system that should have made it. And it's less common than the SNES. To your own brother of all people. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to do it for part, uh, what was it, five? Um, Something. Part three. Solve for X, dear audience. <laughs> uh, meet us back here for more Mario 3 action. Until next time, keep on gaming. <laughs>